And welcome back, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V Advice. Advice? Advice! I cannot speak at the moment, I swear. Welcome back. Yay! otherwise known as a boss fight. They're really powerful, especially against living things. I would have to actually agree with Galuff there. Okay, folks, onwards we go. Now, we can go higher. Now you can see here, this is where the battle will be fought. Here we go! When I can actually figure out where we have to fight. Oh, it's these! Yes, I remember now. Should have actually bought some more... Um, that hits quite hard. Should have actually bought here some more... Yeah. Wow, they can take a beating. Say they take a good beat in them. I should have actually really, folks, come equipped with potentially. Got nothing else that I can really use as lightning attack. Hey, we'll keep taking out all these flamethrowers. I've totally forgotten about these things, if I'm honest. Oh, rocket launchers this time. Now, what missile does, it... Oh, never mind. Oh, I was right there. I thought missile actually couldn't kill you. Okay, let's use Ramu. Nice and powerful that. Good night, Irene. Ooh, three ability points for them. Come on down. Rocket. PUNCH! That's annoying, it confuses. Nice, summon level 5. First strike, good one to have that. It increases the chances of having the first attack. Very nice indeed. not to be laughed at, that attack. Okay, Galuff, finish it off with a Thundara. Boom! Now, 
Now say hello to the real boss. That's what she said. Here we go, folks. Let's rock. If it actually... Ah, there we go. Diffusion Beam Cannon Online. Okay, now this is basically just a, a race against the clock here. We need to take out both of those launchers to begin with. Okay, that's one of them dead. Ah, cool. Right, the two launchers are taken out. Safety lock offline. Too bad you're gonna die pretty darn soon. You're gonna see what a shuriken does against this sucker. If I could actually find one. There it is. Not a bad amount of damage, I suppose. We seem to be kicking out a good amount of damage on this sucker, because I think we've prepared quite well with all the lightning abilities. Blast shielding activated, eh? And you're gone. See, so seven a bit... Ooh, a dark matter. That's what she said. we go. Now welcome to, if I'm right, this should be the root, the, yeah, I'm going to say the Ronka Ruins. Now from what I remember, there's quite a few secret passageways in this place. I love these, if you just actually look down folks, it's really qu uh, quite cool. Like uh, how the, the floor it looks like it's moving type thing. Nice hit there, Bats, old boy. I ain't got a clue what these suckers are weak against. the high defense them suckers. Oh, come on, you're still not dead. Thank you. Now there is about three different items that I actually want from this place. Ah, there you go folks, look. Can't actually see it, but there. Little secret. Bronken Knight Stone Masks. Not quite sure what they do. Oh, you idiot, why are you missing so much? Ok, 
Okay, Confuse absolutely failed there. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. One ability point for all them suckers. I think blooming not. burning through MP here, but I hate having to fight them Ronka Knights, because they can take a right beating. One ability point again! Ooh, golden armor. Armor decorated with gold filigree. Okay, not bad. Okay... See what that is up there. Now, wasn't it this way? Nope, it's this one. Oh, an enchanted fan. Weird looking thing. And it's a dead looking thing. Elixir, all good. Just double check something there. If I actually switch out Faris's ability. Yeah. Doesn't automatically activate that. Right, I've got it. If she was a thief though, it would automatically activate. Nice, preemptive. Boom. Okay, there's two ways to go here. Um There's quite a few ways to go, in fact. Now, if there ever was a maze, this is certainly a maze. That was a really bit of bad English there. Boom! I'm trying to work out, is it like a woman stretching on the front of that? Or is it kind of just a deformed face? Whatever it is, it's weird. Ah, okay, what's this chest? Golden shield, cool. Now, we haven't actually got a use for that, though, at the moment. But hey, at least we got it. Let's try a... I can actually find it. Water scroll. Well dodged, Gallif. Well dodged. And good night, Irene. Now, if I only get one ability point again. Oh, three ABP. Nice. So, those are the combinations we could really do with two Ronkinites and an Enchanted Fan. That ain't bad. Ooh, now a Lamia. We need to kill these suckers quick. Because I have a horrible feeling they can cast. Yeah, they can cast Confuse, I'm pretty sure. Right, so I've explored that way. 
So there's no, there's no reason to come back to those stairs. What about if we go up here? Okay, that's a save room, that's fine. Boom! Do I actually think those enchanted fans have actually got one attack off us yet? Which is kind of sucky on their part. Okay, level four. Very confusing layout, this place. Now you see, I would assume this is the actual, like, correct way out of here. Hmm, I have a feeling that's the, technically the wrong way. Now is there a door over this side, anyway? at it, folks. That might actually be the only way at the moment. The only item I'm really kind of particularly bothered about getting here is the weapon that I, I'm pretty sure there's an ancient sword in here somewhere. Wow, wow. Oh, nice. And nice. Are all those for just one ability point? That's stupid. Oh. High potion. Not bad. Okay, so we've got two choices. Ooh. How do we get in that room? I wonder. get through there, I wonder. Ooh! Archer Toad. I wonder what these suckers are weak against. Potentially, it could actually be a lightning, because I'd assume they're water-based. Uh, maybe not. Finish it off, Bats. Ah, now that must lead to that treasure chest room. Whoa, hey! Oh, fudge. Well, that's rather annoying. That's rather annoying indeed, sir. And I'm going the wrong way again. Yes, we've done this fight, thank you. Come on. Thank you. Now this time, we won't fall into the damn hole. I've said that before, though not in the same context. Shuriken, 5,000 gel, Ancient Sword, Moon Ring Blade, ooh, lots of good stuff there. Now what's, firstly, the, oh, I can't wear it, what's the power thing? Oh, power armlet, wristband that increases strength, pretty good, I shall actually equip that. Ancient Sword. It's a lot more powerful, and sword that sometimes ages enemies. Okay, so 
old is a pretty damn good spell. What it basically does is the statistics of the enemy that gets affected by it slowly count down over time. What was the other item that we just got from there? It was another moon ring blade, wasn't it? So technically... Faris can dual wield because I can then move her onto the bat line. Oh, and then we still fall down the hole. Nice. Now, I went... This is the way, I think. I think. Yep, very nice. Ha! Aged him, then killed him. Honage. Now, surprisingly, that didn't actually kill it. Good night, Irene. See, at least in these areas, we're getting a fairly good amount of ABP. It's by no means amazing, but it's not as sucky as the other places we've been in. Okay, I think I'm getting close to the target. Just going to see what happens if we fall down here. Okay, we've been there. That's fine. Nice, more preemptives. Down, 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 da down. Now in this dungeon, a lot of the enemies actually do drop some pretty decent items, but nothing that I'd particularly utilize. Dun 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 bom bom bom. Let's kill that. Now you kill that one, I'll kill the other one. Do 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 do. Nice, three ability points. Ooh, a dark bow. That's a rare drop that. That's something that I didn't actually explain, folks. The Ranger. Now, the Ranger class, which is there. Nature-loving archers who can call on local wildlife for aid. Now, on the gist of it, they don't actually seem that amazing. Trust me, they are. Now, their top-level ability, it's known as a few different things, but in this game, it's actually known as Rapid Fire. Basically, it's four hits at slightly weaker power. But obviously it's four hits. Now, if you're using that when dual wielding, that'll be our combination for many, many, many years to come. That combination of dual wielding, potentially Spellblade, um, and as I say, Rapid Fire. The thing is, it's a top level ability, so it takes a heck of a long time to learn it. But once you do, you won't look back. Another fight. Bum 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 bum. That was stupid. Should have finished him off normally there. Like an idiot, I run out of MP. And goodbye, idiot. 
Now there is quite a few good steals from here, good rare drops. The one in particular is one from the Lamia, which I think I'm probably going to do off screen again here. Because the Lamia actually drops Lamia's Tiara, which is a pretty darn good item to have if you can get it. Um, I can't remember if I got it on my last playthrough, but I will, tr you know, I will look into it. Where's this take us? That takes us back to level four. Ooh, hello. Nice, a cottage. And an, ooh, holy crud, is that Ting... That's King Tycoon! I only said Ting then. Don't know where that came from. Okay, a switch. What does said switch do? Okay, opens the door down. Ah, okay, so it opens the door to where King Tycoon is. I don't think we can actually get into a fight down here. Well, we can. Oh, now we've got Ram Ages and some other things. I need to find a place where I can fight a few Lamias. Um, first strike. No, you, you'll use first. Oh no, that's fine. Yep, thief gloves are equipped. Good. Okay, we've got a lamb here. Is it going to drop it? Nope. Maiden's kiss. This could take a while, folks. Um, just bear with me while I do do some stealing. The trick is to save state just before an encounter. So you've got it there with just before an encounter. It's Lamia's again. Okay, no, we don't want a Maiden's Kiss. No. Alright, that could be what we want. Nope. Can take a while, folks. It's just like the Gaia gear. I will get it, though, because I won't mind a few Lamia's tiaras, to be honest. Only for my mages, that's all it's useful for, but... I might do this bit off-screen again. God bless the power of save states. And I know people don't like me using them. But just think of it this way. All it'd mean is me actually resetting totally to keep doing this. So it just saves one space on my limited hard drive and two saves time. And to be quite honest, I have paid for all my save stating endeavours on my attempt to get the Goo King Sword. I literally was losing my mind on that. Oh, that could have been it then. I hit to uh, save state too quick. Nope, stop dropping the maiden's kiss, please. No, come on. Just drop Lamia's tiara. You see, they are stubborn folks. They just will not drop it when you need them to. Come on. You're making me look a fool here, Lamia. Right, I'm going to do this off screen, folks, so I'll, I'll come back as soon as I can.